Okay, welcome back to the shop. Today we're gonna to show you how to remove and replace the oil pump on your 5.4 liter three valve engine. Now anytime you're inside this engine, you get the front cover off, you're doing timing components, you're doing tensioners, you're checking out guides, you're changing a guide that broke, something. Anytime you're in there, you might as well throw this oil pump in there. And the reason being is the, the stock factory Ford oil pump just doesn't deliver and after a while, by the time your, your chains wear out and everything else, it's worn out also. Now the pump I recommend is the Mellings M360 oil pump. I'll link to it down below on Amazon. It's the absolute best price I found it anywhere. Uh, it's dirt cheap, it's like a no-brainer to install this whenever you have the front cover off your, your Ford engine there. Now for video purposes, the front cover's removed, the timing components are off there already, and the oil pump's just sitting there ready to go. Now the reason why I make this video is because the official Ford workshop manual states you have to remove the oil pan and the front differential in most cases just to get this oil pump off of there. Not true. Today we're going to show you some tips and tricks I've learned throughout the years to get this pump off of there and back on without damaging anything. It only takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, real quick, before the Mellings oil pump installation, we're at 30 PSI in park at idle of 600 RPMs. And in gear, we drop to uh, 22, 23 PSI. The engine's not smoking hot like a hot summer day after a long drive, so it may be down to maybe 20 or 19 uh, in reality. So, but this is how it is, um, just sitting here idling full hot. So we'll see what the spec is afterwards, uh, after the pump installation. Okay, here we go. Oil pump replacement in the vehicle. Now, the first thing you want to do is get any kind of dirt away from here. You see some of the crumblies here. Push it out and away from the pan. We're going to be changing oil after all this, but still. So, we get the rest of these out of here. Now, the first thing you want to do is loosen these eight millimeter bolts right here. You can see this one's kind of hard to get to. This one's a lot easier um, because the oil pickup is actually bolted in again down into the, on the main girdle of the engine down there. Um, so it doesn't just slide forward with the pump. And the pump, that's how it comes off, it slides forward. So the best tool I found for something like this is an eight millimeter flex head gear wrench. Um, you just get in here and loosen it and it shouldn't take too much to get it out of here. Now for this one it's a little bit trickier uh, but the idea is the same. I'm going to be in the way here of the camera but the same thing. The 8 millimeter gear wrench. Get her down in there and start getting it off of there. There we go. There we go. It's flexible, it just pops right down like so. You just start pulling the pump off of here. Just a couple eight millimeters. I'm quite sure these are different sizes though. So keep that in mind. Just a few bolts that hold it onto there. So these two are the same. Actually, all three of these are the same, so we're good to go. And then you simply pry down on this just a little bit. Okay. So it's free. And then you start wiggling it forward. It's kind of hard to get a grip on it. go. 
Okay, now as far as the new oil pump goes, they're shipped dry. And in general, it shouldn't be an issue, but I like to pull the backing plate off of here. Okay, there's no gasket. And go ahead and spray some 5W30 all inside of here, some regular engine oil. You can move the gear around inside of there and spray some 530 in there and work it in so that it's not dry upon startup. Now we're gonna do a special priming procedure for this engine so there's pressurized oil at the tensioners and at the cylinder has before it ever fires. But this pump, this brand new pump, is gonna be dry the whole time it's pumping in there until that pickup tube is actually filled up and it's coming and starting to flow through. So a little pre-oil can't hurt. Now some guys, they use uh, assembly lube or uh, regular grease inside of here to get it packed in there and start it up. I think engine oil is just fine. Okay, the whole front of the engine is all cleaned out. All these cavities, our ceiling surfaces, all over the place. It's all cleaned up now. And we changed the O-ring out on here to the new one that came with the pump. And at this time, it's a good time to get down in here with the rag and actually your, your phone camera a camera of sorts that can get down in there and make sure all the debris is out of here okay nice and clean like that and at this point we can go ahead and start putting the new oil pump on now there's no particular way to put this thing on there but there's two flats on the internal gear on the pump and they match these flats on either side of the crankshaft you can see them there uh, so just kind of get that lined up first There it goes. You just gotta finesse it around a little bit like that. It'll go all the way back, have this kind of depth to it, okay? And you'll feel behind here it's right against the block. Not to mention your pickup will line up perfectly now also, bolt right up. So at this point, let's get these bolts in, thread them in by hand, and this will help align the pump. Like so. Now at this point we know the pump is fully set back against it. The block, you can feel it, okay? So we can go ahead and tighten it down. Now at first, I just go around my little light duty quarter inch and snug them down. And then torque them down to 89 inch pounds. In no particular order. Now on an internal engine component like this, I like to go back and recheck it. Especially because this side is uh, self-sealing against the block, no gasket. So you want to make sure this stuff is torqued down right and fully settled. Okay, oil pump is installed. Now, let's go through the task of putting these bolts in. Now, it kind of self-aligns in there um, with the, the center of the pipe and all that stuff and the O-ring and that whole area. Um, but I still need to get this one in first. Get it a little snug, but not so snug that you can't move the pipe around anymore. It should have a perfect alignment already because the other end of the pipe we didn't touch. So I'll get it right there, okay. Snug it up just a little bit by hand. 
like so. See how it just fell in like that? Good to go, right? We can go ahead and get the other one in there. That's hard to get in there. Now, one tip I can give you for getting this bolt in that's a real pain to get to is to use a flex head 8 millimeter gear wrench. Flex it at the right angle, okay? Get it in there, okay? Get it straight in there. And then you come on this side with a trim tool or cat claw, put pressure on the end of it so it holds it, and just start wrenching it in. And that way it holds the bolt because at first it's going to spin freely, puts a little pressure on it, and we're able to get it in there. And then once it's in there and we're good to go, at that point with the, with the flex head, you can get in here and swing just fine and tighten it up. Now the spec on these is like 89 inch pounds. I think we all can, um, you know, we all know how much to snug them up. You're not going to get much torque out of this little thing uh, with the leverage on that. So just snug them up so they're nice and tight. And that oil pump is done. This way we can crank the engine at 180, 200 RPMs and slowly prime the system without ever having a chance of firing on there uh, dry. So leave the crankshaft sensor disconnected and we'll go up top and start priming. Now at this point you simply crank the engine until your oil pressure gauge comes up over there. Now it's only a switch um, but it will still react when the pressure is actually built up enough. Now once it does go to the middle position on there and says there's plenty of pressure, crank for another five to 10 seconds so you get pressure throughout the engine on there. Now in my case, I still have the mechanical gauge attached so we'll just monitor that. primed okay so here's the oil pressure reading after the oil pump installation and we're at full hot same conditions as before not too bad right it's like a 10 to 15 minute job and you'll have confidence knowing your oil pump and pressure and volume more importantly will be good to go for the rest of the life of the engine hope this helped